How's it going everyone? Today we'll be having a look at my Piranha Prime build and just going over some of the mods that I have in it as well as any suggestions of how to use it. So it is a Piranha Prime. The standard version can use this build but it won't be nearly as effective as the Prime version. So to start with it's got Hornet Strike for raw damage Pistol Pestilence for Toxin plus status chance. Jolt for Electricity plus status chance. Prime Target Cracker for the critical damage. Prime Pistol Gambit for critical chance. Auger Pact for some more straight up raw damage. Lethal Torrent for the fire rate and multi shot. And Barrel Diffusion for more multi shot. So it's more or less a hybrid with raw damage status chance and damage, critical chance and damage, as well as the multi shot and fire rate. So the thing that makes the Piranha Prime special is that getting I believe it's three rapid kills will summon in a spectral version of the Piranha Prime as a second weapon in your offhand. So it pretty much just doubles the damage output for that period of time. When the second one's summoned in, it will come fully loaded with 12 shots. So if you play smart, you can use that to essentially not run out of ammo just by getting three rapid kills to summon in the extra piranha and then just watching your ammo. Because when the spectral version despawns, any remaining ammo above 12, which is the base ammo capacity for the Piranha, will be lost. But if you summoned in the second gun after you were down to just say, for example, three shots and you got 12 shots in the second gun, it'd take you up to 15. Then if you didn't use all that ammo, you've essentially gotten a free clip pretty much for your standard gun but we'll get to that later either way the accuracy is at 6.1 critical chance 68.9 with a multiplier of 4.6 the fall off 18 to 36 fire rate 6.4 as I said magazine 12 noise alarming reload 1.6 the status is at 57.6 and it is a full auto weapon although it's not always the best option to just hold the trigger in because it does have a fair bit of recoil and you will run out of ammo quick if you're not being careful. So as far as the damage is concerned, impact 219.5, puncture 219.5 and slash 2305 which is really good because in general slash is the ideal damage out of the three standard physical damage types then you got corrosive 3293 so let's get into it operator you have remembered well how the tenno arm themselves going to Paracon, just an excavation mission against the Hive, which is good for showcasing how quick weapons can kill. So being on Pluto, it is in the higher end of the star chart. Although infested enemies aren't the tankiest out of the different factions, they can pose a threat just because of their numbers. In of lost and when they do get the to a surface. higher level the and the target. ancient healers Go start coming center. out, you will start to struggle to clear them out very quick if you're not prepared. As you can see, most of these smaller enemies it'll pretty much always just kill in one direct hit. I don't know what happened 
of a house. So. Uh, I don't know that I'm going to be able to get that. Hello, moving on. I think so. Even at a decent range like that, the weaker enemies it has no problem in picking off. Excavator deployed. Protect the unit while it extracts the artifact. version that I was telling you about. I'll despawn in a minute. The excavator has lost power. Find As another you can say, it can give some pretty good damage output while it is active. Because you're effectively doubling what this gun is capable of. But as you can see the recoil makes the crosshairs bounce around a fair bit. Has been located. Proceed to the dig site. Some explode when killed. We will need to strike and move. But if you get used to the recoil pattern, it's not too bad to try and control. Deployed. Protect the unit while it extracts the artifact. The scanner has picked up a target. Go to the dig site.
What's that power core? Is that far back? That must be that one that got glitched into the roof. Need another power cell for the excavator. group of enemies to show how effectively this gun can clear them out. As you can see there, went from 20 shots down to 12 again when the spectral piranha disappeared. Because obviously, as I said before, the limit for the clip size for just one standard piranha is 12. together or set up the Expert second one but if they're far apart the I wouldn't recommend setting up the second one if you're in here solo as it can be safe. hard to get from one to the next just to make sure that the enemies aren't overrunning it just been rewarded. The excavator has run out of power. Find a cell. Start heading out now, but that just goes to show that it's more than capable of getting through the four rewards for the C rotation with ease. And just really an all round powerful weapon. If you want to, you can go through the whole mission just using that, as shown by this example, but even just other missions in the star chart. 
what I find to be a really well-rounded secondary weapon and as long as you can serve ammo and pace your shots it's more than capable of seeing you through some of the higher level missions but as always if you have any recommendations or suggestions feel free to let me know down in the comments otherwise I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching